In this video, we are going to be discussing the KCPE Maths topic discount and how it relates um, to your exam questions. Now, if this is your first time of joining this channel, please hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can get more topical videos from us. Now, we are going to be discussing the concept discount. Now, discount is the difference between the selling price and marked price of a good. Now, assuming you have a sewing machine to sell. And um, the price, the marked price of the sewing machine, it's actually a thousand shillings. And you now sold the sewing machine for 900 shillings. You actually give the customer a discount of what? 100 shillings, which means the, um, the, the marked price, which is 1000, that's discount, discount, it's going to be marked price minus selling price now one thing you need to understand is discount is always represented in percentage so in order for you to portray discount as a figure it's most times given in percentage for instance she bought the sewing machine at a discount of 10 percent so knowing that a discount of 10 percent was deducted from the customer you can always know how to get the actual selling price so with this concept we are going to be solving some questions that you are going to be expecting in your kcpe mathematics 2020. now question one says the max price for a radio was 5800 shillings cora was given a 20 percent discount for paying cash how much did he pay for the radio okay so um in order to solve this question now um the marked price that was the price that was agreed the marked price um was agreed to be 5800 shillings discount given what's um 20 percent so the question says how much did Korea pay for the radio now knowing that Korea was given a discount of 20 percent all we need to do is do 20 over 100 multiplied by the marked price which is 5800 uh, zero will cancel zero here zero is going to cancel zero here so we have 580 multiplied by two so when we multiply our 580 by two we are going to get um two times five will be 10 plus one and that's 11. so that means cora was given a discount of 1160 shillings so the 20% has transformed to 1,160 shillings. So now, that was the amount that was deducted. Remember we said discount is a reduction in price for the customer. The customer wants to pay for a sewing machine. You, you give a reduction in price. That reduction in price you have given to the customer is actually called the discount. Now, to get the DM, how much he now paid, we will now do 5,800 minus 1,160 and that was give us the total amount he paid. Now, if we perform that, 580 minus 1,160, this will be 0. Borrow 1 here, here becomes 7. Put it here. 10 minus 6 is going to be 4. 7 minus 1 is going to be 6. And 5 minus 1 is going to be 4. So our final answer, it's going to be 4,640 shillings. And the correct answer here is A. Okay, so we are going to solve some more examples. Like I said, if this is your first time of hitting this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay, this question says, Kigori paid 64 shillings for a book after getting a 20% discount from the max price. What was the marked price of the book? Okay, so in this type of question, let the marked price price be X. So now, it means if we got 20% discount to do 20 over 100 multiplied by the marked price will give us that, um, shift your decimal place, this is um, 1, 2. So this is going to give us 0.2X. Okay? Now, if you recall, um, in this is this is actually the discount that was given. Now, the max price is X, and in our discount formula, we say to get um actual price paid, 
price paid will be it will now be x which is now the marked price minus the discounted price and what is the price paid for book price paid was what that 64 shillings so with this we cannot say 64 is equal to x minus 0.2x so this is going to be 64 is equal to x minus 0.2x this is the same thing as saying 1 minus 0.2x and this is going to give us um 0.8x okay so this is going to give us 64 now when you have 0.8x you know that 0.8 is the same thing as 8 over 10 converting to our fractions so this is going to be 8 over 10x so at this point we can cross multiply this is going to be 64 times 10 you cross multiply it's going to be 1 times 8x so this is going to be 640 is equal to 8x x is going to be which is our max price is going to be 640 divided by 8 now 8 into here is 1 8 into 64 it's 8 and 0 so we have our x to be shillings 80 shillings so the correct answer here it's going to be b so you can also test the question to ensure that the question is correct now like i said if you've not hit the subscribe button please click the subscribe right away so that you can get more videos from us now the final question we're going to be solving now this question says the max price for an article is 75 shillings a customer paid 50 shillings after being allowed a discount what was the percentage discount now in order to get the percentage discount let's get the discount given to the customer so the discount is marked price minus selling price okay so now the marked price was 75 and the selling price was 50 so the customer was given a discount of 25 shillings now you now do what is the percentage discount compared to the marked price so that is going to be the percentage discount it's now going to be that's 25 over 75 multiplied by 100 over 1 so 25 here is 1 25 is 75 will give us what 3 so 100 into 3 so you will do our long division 3 into 100 3 can go into 10 um we put 3 3 times 3 9 we bring down 1 and 10 3 can go again that's 3 3 times 3 that's 9 and 1 it can go we put our 0 and put our dot 3 into 10 again will be 3 and like that it continues and so on so put your 10 again it will become 3 and it's going to continue becoming um, 3 3 3 to infinity so our final answer is going to be 33.33 percent so that's what the long division gave us and the correct answer here it's going to be what c okay so um you can attempt several questions on discount if you understand um the concept of discount now if there are questions you have you can drop them on the comment section don't forget to like this video don't forget to share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can get more of this from us so stay tuned as we release more videos